Good morning students. Welcome to our English class of Gurukul English Medium School. Today we will begin with our lesson number 21, The Journey to the Great Oz. So I want all, your, all of you to take your textbooks and then be ready as I am reading and explaining the lesson to you. The Wizard of Oz is a well-known fantasy of children's literature. It tells the story of Dorothy who is whisked with her dog Toto by the cyclone to the wonderful land of Oz. Now what does fantasy mean children? Fantasy is an imaginative fiction involving magic and adventure. Whisked is a word which means to take or move someone or something somewhere suddenly and quickly. So children... Here, this is a story which involves imagination. It is not a true story. And here in this story, Dorothy will be carried away in the cyclone wind. Now, what is cyclone? It's a tropical storm. In a storm, Dorothy will be carried away from one place to another place along with her dog, Toto. There she meets the tin woodman who needs a heart, the scarecrow who needs brain and the cowardly lion who needs bravery. They all want to see the wizard of Oz, the only person who can help them. Here's an account of a part of their journey to the emerald city of Oz where the wizard lives. Read The Wizard of Oz to find out what happens next. The Wizard of Oz was written by Lyman Frank Baum, 1856-1919. He has written many other books about Oz. This classic novel has made into a movie. So there is a movie on this lesson also. And this lesson has been written by a famous person, Lyman Frank Baum. And he lived between 1856 and 1919. So he has written many other books apart from O's. All right, children, let's begin the lesson. What happens and who all are there in this lesson, children? Here in this lesson, there is a girl by name Dorothy who meets Tin Woodman and Tin Woodman needs a heart. The Scarecrow needs a brain and a Cowardly Lion who needs bravery. Now Cowardly means timid. So a timid person wants to be a brave person. Here in this it's not a person but the Lion is coward and the Lion wants to be a brave Lion. Tin Woodman wants a heart, whereas a scarecrow needs brain. So they all meet up at one place and they all want to go to see the Wizard of Oz. Now, this was to be an eventful day for the travelers. They had hardly been walking an hour when they saw before them a great ditch that crossed the road and divided the forest as far as they could see on either side. Now, let's understand the meaning of eventful. Eventful means marked by interesting or exciting events. Now, ditch is a word which means a deep opening or gap in the ground. Now, children, as they are traveling, which is an exciting or interesting journey let us understand what is happening so even before they saw a great ditch that crossed the road divided the forest as far as they could see on either side it was a very wide ditch the ditch or the opening between the road is wide and when they crept up to the edge and looked into it they could see it was very deep and there were many big jagged rocks at the bottom so when they saw deep inside the ditch it was too deep and there were many big jagged rocks now what does jagged mean jagged is with rough sharp points poking out 
Sometimes, even when we are going for adventures and all, we get to see all these jagged rocks. The sides were too steep that none of them could climb down and for a moment it seemed that their journey must end. So when they saw that ditch, ditch is an opening between the two roads. Okay, so when they saw that, they, here they explain how steep it was which means that they cannot walk down through that ditch nor someone can come out of the ditch. So it was quite dangerous. What shall we do? asked Dorothy despairingly. So Dorothy was a little bit upset and she was with the, without any hope. She says, now what can we do next? I haven't the faintest idea, said the Tin Woodman. Tin Woodman says, I don't have any idea. And the lion shook his shaggy mane and looked thoughtful. So lion also said, don't know what to do. Now shaggy means long, thick and untidy. Lion's children have a shaggy mane. Now here's a picture of a lion, Tin Woodman, Dorothy, and the dog along with the along with a uh, scarecrow all right now but the scarecrow said we cannot fly that is certain neither can we climb down into this great ditch therefore if we cannot jump over it we must stop where we are so scarecrow says now we cannot fly nor we can climb down because the ditch is too deep so we cannot jump over it all we can do is we have to stop our journey here itself i think i could jump over it said the cowardly lion after measuring the distance carefully in his mind so the lion thought that it can jump over it can cross over the ditch after measuring the distance in its mind, then we are all right, answered the scarecrow, for you can carry us all over on your back one at a time. So the scarecrow, Tin Woodman and Dorothy said, that's a very good idea. You can carry us and jump us. Jump to the other side of the ditch. Well, I'll try it, said the lion. Who will go first? asked one another then i will declare the scarecrow scarecrow said i will take the first chance on the lion to cross over the ditch if you found that you should not jump over the gulf dorothy would be killed out or the tin woodman badly dented on the rocks below but if i am on your back it will not matter so much for the fall would not hurt me at all. Here in this paragraph, the scarecrow says, It's better if I go first, because even if I fall down, nothing would happen. But if Dorothy falls down, she will get hurt. And if the tin wood man falls down, the tin wood man would get dented. Now, what does this word dented mean, children? Dented means a slight hollow in the heart or even surface now the tin wood man is all made of the tin so when the tin wood man falls into the ditch or anywhere then the shape of the tin wood man's body will change so then they all agree that the scarecrow would go i'm terribly afraid of falling myself said the cowardly lion but lion said don't worry even i am also afraid that i might also fall but i suppose there's nothing we can do apart from trying so get on my back and we will make an attempt said the lion lion said there's no point in thinking and wasting the time it's better we try and take an attempt so they start trying and the scarecrow sat up Upon the lion's back and the big beast walked to the edge of the gulf and crouched down. So what happens now? 
the scarecrow sits on the lion and the big beast who's the big beast here it's the cowardly lion and goes to the edge of the gulf and crouched down so crouched means a position where the knees are bent and the upper body is brought forward and down in preparation for jumping just imagine yourself children if you have to jump over from one place to the other place what do you do you just bend down your knees and then your upper body is brought forward so that you will be ready to jump so that's the position which is telling us how the lion was Fine, let's move on. Why don't you run and jump as the scarecrow? Scarecrow said, now it's better that you go back, run and take a long jump. So, because that isn't the way we lions do these things, he replied. But lion did not agree because that's not the way lions jump. It's the human beings who go back, run and take a long jump. But in case of lions, it's a different thing. Then, giving a great spring, he shot through the air and landed safely on the other side. So, finally, the lion took a long leap and jumped on the other side and landed safely on the other side. They were all greatly pleased to see how easily he did it. And after the scarecrow had got down, from his back, the lion sprang across the ditch again. So after leaving the scarecrow on the other side of the ditch, lion again came back and took Dorothy. Let's see. Dorothy thought she would be, she would go next. So she took Toto in her arms and climbed on the lion's back, holding tightly to his mane with one hand. The next moment, it seemed as if she were flying through the air and then before she had time to think about it she was safe on the other side so immediately as soon as dorothy sat on lion along with the dog toto in her left hand with one hand she was holding lion's mane tightly and the moment she thought about it how we will go immediately the lion flew and landed Dorothy safe on the other side. Wow, that was a very good sight, children. Yes, the lion went back. Now, the lion went back a third time and got the tin woodman and then they all sat down for a few moments to give the beast a chance to rest for his great leaps had made his breath short and he painted like a big dog that has been running too long. So they all thought that it is time that we give lion some rest because it worked very hard jumping from one end to the other end carrying all of us. As it was very tired, the lion was resting. Now, next paragraph. They found the forest very thick on the side and it looked dark and gloomy. After the lion had rested, they started along the road of yellow bricks silently, wondering each in his own mind if ever they would come to the end of the woods and reach the bright sunshine again. To add to their discomfort, they soon heard strange noises in the depths of the forest and the lions whispered to them, that it was in the part of the country that the Kalidas lived. Now, as soon as the lion took some rest, they were all up and they were just walking and thinking in their own mind, what happens next? What, could, what if the woods come to an end and reach the bright sunshine again? So they were all thinking something in their own minds. And very soon, they heard something suddenly, a strange noise from the depth of the forest. And a lion whispered that it is nothing but Kalidas who lived. Now, what are the Kalidas? asked the girl. Who is the girl here? Dorothy asked, lion, what is Kalidas? 
They are monstrous beasts with bodies like bear and heads like tigers, replied the lion. And with claws so long and sharp that they could tear me in two or easily as I could kill Toto. I am terribly afraid of Kalidas. So here the lion describes the Kalidas which is a monstrous beast and how is the appearance children? The appearance of Kalidas is like the lion and the bear, the tiger and the bear. The face of it looks like the tiger and the body it has a body like bear and it has got sharp nails which can tear nails are called the claws so it's got sharp claws so that it can tear the lion into pieces so let's move on to the next page now i'm not surprised that you are returned dorothy they must be dreadful beasts The lion was about to reply when suddenly they came to another gulf across the road. But this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew at once he could not leap across. Now, when they were just walking, they came across the noises of the dreadful beast that is the Kalidas and they were even more worried and as they were walking ahead, they came across another big gulf. Now, what is a gulf? Gulf is a very deep opening or a gap in the ground. So, after they crossed one ditch, this is the gulf. That is the second thing which they have to cross. And it is quite bigger than the first one. But they thought, the lion thought, it is so broad that I cannot leap across that means it cannot cross over it cannot jump over because it was quite big so they sat down to consider what they should do and after serious thought the scarecrow said now they sat down and they thought they had a discussion and the scarecrow said here's a great tree standing close to the ditch now in this picture of the slide where you can see a big tree so scarecrow gives an idea let's see what the idea of the scarecrow is so here's a great tree standing close to the ditch if the tin wood man can chop it down so that it was it will fall to the other side we can walk across it easily wow that was an amazing idea isn't it children great idea by the scarecrow that is a first-rate idea, said the lion. One would almost suspect you had brain in your head instead of straw. So, lion was appreciating the scarecrow's idea that you have a wonderful brain. There should not be any straw in your brain, but the, in your head, but it's a lovely brain you have. But a very good idea. First-rate means the best or the excellent idea. The wood... The tin wood man set to work at once and so sharp was his axe that the tree was soon chopped nearly through. So finally the tin wood man started working in cutting the tree and then the lion put his strong front legs against the tree and pushed with all his might and slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch with its top branches on the other side so children here the tree fell down on the other side who helped in cutting lion and also the tin wood man worked hard in cutting and putting the tree across the gulf now children finally they had chopped down the tree and the tree fell down across the ditch with its top branches on the other side so after that let's see what happens they had just started to cross this queer bridge with when a 
sharp growl made them all look up and to their horror they saw running towards them two great beasts with bodies like bear and heads like tigers so when they started to slowly walk on that bridge which they made with the tree they heard the sound of the sharp growl made them all look up and there was a horrible sound which they heard what is the sound children it's the sound of the kalidas they are they are all kalidas said cowardly lion beginning to tremble so they have seen two kalidas coming towards them and how were they looking they were like the bears and the heads like the tigers so they were very much scared who was scared dorothy tin woodman and the scarecrow lion everyone were scared as they were crossing slowly the bridge so quick cried the scarecrow let us cross over so dorothy went first holding toto in her arms the tin woodman followed and the scarecrow came next the lion although he was certainly afraid turned to face the kalidas and then he gave so loud and terrible a roar that dorothy screamed and the scarecrow fell over backward while even the fierce beast stopped short and looked at him in surprise so when they were seeing the kalidas they all shouted and quickly they all came to the other side and also because of their great shout kalidas also then they also gave so loud and terrible roar that dorothy screamed and scarecrow fell over backward while even the fear beast stopped for a shot and looked at him in surprise but seeing they were bigger than the lion and remembering that there were two of them and only one of him the kalidas again rushed forward and the lion crossed over the tree and turned to see what they would do next without stopping an instant the fierce beast also began to cross the tree and the lion said to dorothy so the moment these uh, three the this these four that is lion tin woodman dorothy and scarecrow crossed the big gulf they saw that kalidas also was trying to walk over the bridge of tree which they have made and immediately they were very much upset and they were scared what to do next we are lost for they will surely tear us to pieces with their sharp claws but stand close behind me and i will fight them as long see in this picture you can see here the picture wherein all the lion tin woodman and dorothy and the scarecrow reaches and the kalidas is try to climb the bridge so lion says don't worry i will fight as long as i am alive wait a minute call the scarecrow he had been thinking what was best to be done and now he asked the woodman to chop away the end of the tree that rested on the other side of the ditch the tin woodman began to use his axe at once and just as the two kalidas were near cro- across the tree fell with a crash into the gulf carrying the ugly snarling brutes with it and both were dashed to pieces on the sharp rocks at the bottom so children let me explain what exactly happened over here in this paragraph here as soon as they were trying to cross and come near these people then immediately scarecrow thought what can be done so immediately scarecrow said tin woodman come on cut off the branch where they are so that they will fall down so as soon as he said he started cutting and both the kalidas they fell down into the gulf and they were hurt and they were dashed to pieces of sharp rocks at the bottom so they were hurt because they fell down in the 
big gulf. Well, said the cowardly lion, drawing a long breath of relief. I see we are going to live a little while longer, and I'm glad of it, for it must be a very uncomfortable thing not to be alive. Those creatures frighten me so badly that my heart is beating yet. So Lion said, oh my goodness, we are fine now. So all the fear which was there is gone now because we have a relief now that they are not going to harm us anymore. These creatures have been frightening the lion very badly and the heart was beating even more faster even now, said the lion. Ah, said the tin woodman sadly, I wish I had a heart to beat. So tin woodman said, oh, I wish even I had a heart to beat because tin woodman is without heart and he always wanted a heart. This adventure made the travelers more anxious than ever to get out of the forest and they walked so fast that Dorothy became tired and had to ride on Lion's back. To their great joy, the trees became thinner, the farther they advanced and in the afternoon, they suddenly came upon a broad river flowing swiftly just before them. On the other side of the water, they could see the road of yellow brick running through the beautiful country with green meadows dotted with bright flowers and all the road bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruits. They were greatly pleased to see this delighted country before them. So here we are, the end of the lesson. And before we end, I want to explain you the meanings and the last paragraphs. Here children, snarling means growling angrily with the teeth bared and brutes which means savagely violent animal. So as they were crossing over the bridge, who Kalidas, they were snarling brutes. Snarling means they were growling angrily, mm, we will eat away. So that's called snarling the brutes with savagely violent animals so what kind of animals kalidas were they were savagely brute animals and let me explain the meaning of the meadows meadows is nothing but a grassland so as soon as uh, the kalidas fell down the gulf this adventure made the travelers more anxious than ever to get out of the forest so they th they said it's better that we move out of this forest as soon as possible so that we can be safe so Dorothy was walking fast and then she was tired and then Dorothy got onto lion's back and to their great joy they could see some trees and it was in the afternoon that they saw a broad river and flowing swiftly just before them. Wow, what a beautiful sight it could be, children. And on the other side of the water, what did they see? They could see the yellow road and it has got bricks running through the beautiful country with green meadows. Meadows, as I already told, it's a grassland. It's a So they saw a green meadows with bright flowers and all the roads bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruits. So they found some hope right in front of their eyes after a long adventure and a struggle. So don't forget children, after every difficult time there, there is definitely a hope. So after this big adventure they had a very beautiful scenery in front of them that is a hope of a beautiful meadow and dotted with bright flowers and all the road bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruits they were greatly pleased to see the delightful country before them so they were all happy 
finally at the end of the story because they were safe and they had hope that nothing would harm and this story is as i told you in the beginning of the lesson is from the wizard of oz by frank brown lyman frank brown bomb so children remember that you always should be brave enough and you should always think that there is hope thank you children you have a nice day